everyone and welcome back. So this week we've been talking all about COVID, stress, and burnout and how can you relieve that. So today we just want to reflect on everything that we've been coming across. So burnout survey that was done in October 2021 had 1,800 U.S. workers that were surveyed. 80% of those workers are concerned about their mental health as burnout continues to rise. And 8 in 10 that are concerned, 77% cited stress and burnout are the biggest hurdles they're experiencing on a day-to-day basis. And that's an increase from 55% in a six-month span. That is completely significant. So how do you release stress and what can you just do right now to start doing things slightly different that are really going to help you? So the first thing is identify and track your stressors. When you're able to find those patterns, it can give you clarity of what's going on. What are the same situations that keep coming up or the people that are causing stress around you or incidences that keep occurring? So when we're able to have that clarity, we can start to do something about it and create change for the overall good of our mental health and emotional health. The second thing, have a supportive network. I know when I started my entrepreneurial journey, it was really difficult. It's very lonely, but I'm grateful that I had started a business group coaching program and I met these amazing, incredible women that were also all entrepreneurs in different spaces, but it was really great to have a group of people that I could come to and really understand that we were all in different walks of life, but really coming together to help be a soundboard. And especially if your family or friends or people that are in your immediate circle are not on that entrepreneurial journey, it can be really beneficial to have somebody that is like-minded or has that same path that you're on to really be able to come together. The other thing, not only just having a business group, but being able to be a part of a mastermind. A lot of masterminds have somebody from different industries that come together so you can really see things from a different lens that is going to be really beneficial for everybody in the entire group and I'm a huge fan of masterminds. I know I've been a part of a few as well but not only that you can join meetup groups. There's a lot that have for entrepreneurs depending on your area or Facebook groups. I've met incredible people through Facebook groups as well and not only just having that network of people But maybe you need professional help. Maybe the stress has become chronic and now it's turned into burnout. A therapist is a great opportunity to really work through those patterns so you can identify the source and move forward. Or maybe it's a coach and being able to have the tools that you need in order to move forward and really achieve your potential. The next thing is to be able to speak up for yourself. When you're able to address your needs, that's truly when you can create change for your emotional and mental health and needs as well. In addition, doing more of what you enjoy. So I want you to ask yourself these three questions. What lights you up? What brings you joy? What serves you? When you can ask, answer those questions after you've asked yourself those, it'll be able to give you the opportunity to reconnect to yourself emotionally. So those are just some of the ways that you can really relieve stress and start doing things a little bit different. So let me know if that was helpful. Write in the comment section what you're going to start asking yourself or what you're going to start doing to really manage your stress. And I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you very soon.